Good afternoon. My name is Gabriel Pursley. I'm here today with Dr. Tedele Desai from Ilwi in Addis Ethiopia and Professor Olivier Hanot. So tell me what's in get involved in this program. SEGG stands for African Chicken Genetic Cans. It's a program or a platform for identifying, testing and delivering productive yet tropically adapted chicken genetics to Sub-Saharan Africa. So it's a platform of different partners, as I told you, to test and you know, deliver for more productive chicken to African smallholder farmers. And I understand you're introducing a new development concept called Options by Context. Yes. Indeed. Would you like to clarify what do you mean by this? You know, uh, <laughs> in this program we have different options and also different agroecologies, uh, production environments, and uh, also I mean, dealing with different smallholder farmers which with different uh, status in accessing resources. So those are the, our contexts. So we'll be testing different options in different contexts. And the contexts are different and variable. The options are different and variable. So we need to find that match between the options and the context. Once we have that, then we have the right breed, which is performing very well and at the same time liked by the farming community. So then likability comes in. So I'm interested in your concept of likability. And I was thinking, does this mean you're looking for your pet chicken? Or who do you want to like these new strains? This strain needs to be liked by all actors involved in the chicken value chain development. Consumers, traders, as well as farmers that are producing using those liked animals. Likeability is not only you know, from the outside or the morphology of the chicken, but it has to be productive and at the same time fulfills their cultural, socio-cultural needs of the, I mean, the smallholder farmers. Indeed. So, Olivier, welcome back to Africa. Thank you. And I hear you're coming back. Are, are you excited about this? Yes. Uh, in fact, very excited. Uh, as you are aware, Gabrielle, I was here from 95 to 2009. I took, um, sub, I would say, an academic sabbatical uh, at the university in UK, but I was missing something there. You know, I was doing good science and so on, but somehow I wasn't fully happy, there was something missing there, I really, and so uh, I, I believe, and uh, the time now is right for me to be back, because we, we have so many new tools, and I, I'm back because I want to apply the best of science to have an impact. So, Olivier, how do you see that you'll be able to use your vast knowledge of the genetic diversity of chicken combined with Tudela's program to deliver the practical breeds for the sub semi-subsistence systems? I come from a science background and, 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 and we've been studying, with your help, chicken for some so many years. We know that there is no one size fit for all. And we know you know that as well on the farmer side, but we know that on the genetic side and so on. And this is where I think we, I can help you because no one size fits for all. It's what you can see, but also what's in the inside. The inside is basically the genetics of this animal, the genome of this animal. You will have your different chicken strain and so on. I will help you to tell not only what makes the difference in their plumage, but also what all different they are in the inside. So when we want to match the chicken to the farmer, the inside is as important than the outside. It's usually the women and the children who take care of the chickens. Yes. So how are you dealing with some of the gender issues in the program? Yes. Uh, in this program, women is the center. At a community level, we are building innovation platforms where the village women come together, discuss their issues, identify constraints, and also co-create solutions. We are trying to give them the number that makes economic interest so that they can invest their meager resource, mm -hmm. time, and energy 
on the on the enterprise. So we started already building that from I mean on the ground. So that will empower them, I believe. And perhaps on the other side, there seems to be an increasing interest of private sector players in the chicken business. Yes. Is this an opportunity for Uwe and your program, or is Uwe crowding out the private sector? Yes, I mean, this is one of the main pillars of the program. Once we test the productive yet tropically adaptive chicken strains, and once we identify the preferred animals or the liked animals, we will link with the private sector for multiplication and delivery at the scale. So the private sector is the main partner when it comes to multiplying and delivering at scale. So they are Mr. Key for us, and partnership in this program is Mr. Key. So this sounds the perfect public-private partnership. Definitely. And I might say, you two gentlemen always seem to me to be the perfect partners. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Yes, thank, thank you very much. much.